Brewers and welcome to another episode of Mechanics Brewery, where I review the various homebrew matches created by the Lancer fandom. In today's field guide to sold in special, Retarius, from Chandrasekhar and Herschel, by Kaitave. Retarius was another class of Roman gladiator much like the Sagittarius, which I totally didn't mistake in my previous video, themed after a fisherman, Retarius is armed with a trident, weighted net, and a dagger, and they usually fight by using the net to entangle their foe before attacking, they are also usually set up to fight against a secutor, which is themed after fish. And apparently, Retarius is the lowest and most unmanliest class of gladiator, because they have to evade attack instead of taking it head on due to lack of armor, and their exposed face doesn't dehumanize them unlike most gladiators that wore a fully covered helmet, and in fact got them fans who recognized them. Roman Empire really deserved to fucking fall. Named after the gladiator, Retarius is equally proficient in using its net to entangle and restrain its foes. Looking at its stats, Retarius has excellent health, one armor, slightly terrible evasion and an average E defense. It's decently fast at its size, has a good heat cap along with a decent repair cap, and while its sensor range and tech attack bonus is just average, it has a very excellent save target. As for its traits, it has three of them. First, Nano Weave Net Launcher, for once per round as a free action, you can drag a character within range 5 2 spaces in any direction which ignores engagement and doesn't provoke reactions. Also, Ram and Grapple made against said character are made with plus 1 accuracy until the end of their next turn. Second, Shock Absorbers, Retarius is immune to knockback. And finally, Stable Footing, whenever Retarius would be knocked broke, you can always make a hull check to keep standing, even when a check or save is not normally allowed. In short, Retarius gets to move everyone around, even its allies, with its net, while it will not budge against anything at all. Onto its weapon mounts, it has two, one flex and one heavy, along with six base system points. As for its core power, Retarius can activate anchor point entanglement system to deploy anchor points so you can entangle even more people at once. Upon activation as a protocol, you can deploy three anchor point units to any free spaces within range 5 of the mech. On your turn, each of the anchor point can restrain one hostile to immobilize them within range 5 of it as a free action. A restrained character can remove the restraint at the start of their turn by passing a hull save as a free action. However, if they succeed, they take 4 kinetic damage upon freeing themselves. Multiple anchor points could also be used on a single character, adding plus 1 difficulty to the hull save and plus 2 kinetic damage upon successful save for each anchor point after the first. An anchor point could, of course, only attach to one target at a time because otherwise this would be so overpowered, you may also choose to end the effect on any or all anchor point units at the start of your turn as a protocol to get other targets instead. The anchor points last until the end of the scene, upon which they deactivate. With this core power, this means that at any point of a combat, you can immobilize three enemies at once whenever you want. This is extremely powerful in combination with all sorts of shenanigans you can do, and against melee units, this is basically putting them on a near permanent timeout. A very fitting core power for a controller, that's for sure. Onto the rest of the license, you get Slingstone Charges and Tangler Cannon in the first section. Slingstone Charges, High Tech Rocks and Ropes, you may spend a charge from this limited system for one of the following. First, Bola Grenade, choose a target within range 5, the Bola Grenade will force the target to pass an agility save or fall prone and take 1d6 plus 2 explosive damage taking half damage and not falling prone on a success. Second, Trip Cord Mine, besides free nearby spaces, this mine can also be placed on nearby wall, cover, or terrain. After deploying it, the mine will create a Line 5 area in any direction, anyone that stepped into this area will immediately fall prone, and then the mine detonates for 1d6 explosive damage if they failed the following agility save. Basically, if you want people to be tripping balls constantly, this will do, the damage is just the bonus. Tangler Cannon A massive glue gun. This weapon deals no damage no matter what, even from talents or other things, but it has a decent range, accurate, and knock back too. On a hit, the target must pass a hull save, if they fail, they become slowed and also take plus 2 difficulty on hull and agility checks and saves until the end of their next turn. This basically means that if you keep blasting the target with the cannon, they are going to get slowed near permanently. Also, 
if the weapon's knockback caused the target to collide with a wall big enough to stop their movement, they get stuck to it if they failed the hull save, immobilizing themselves in the process instead of just slowed. Yeah I think we are really seeing the pattern in how the rest of the license will go here, if you really want things to not move but also not dead, this will be good. Aside from Retarius frame itself, you get Shock Lash and Scrambler rounds in the second section. Shock Lash Shockingly painful. Good damage, decent threat, overkill, but has inaccurate and one heat cost to use. Upon a critical hit, the target must pass a system save or get jammed until the end of their next turn, get impaired instead if they pass. Now, immobilizing people is good and all but that obviously won't help if they can still shoot or hack you, this is where this thing comes in to make sure they can't do anything either. Scrambler rounds, blue screen in bullet form, this is a weapon mod that can be applied to a rifle, cannon, or CQB weapon. When you use the mod weapon, you can fire the scrambler round instead of just normal attack. On hit, you deal half damage, heat, and burn, but the target treats all characters further than range 10 as invisible and all other characters as if they were in soft cover until the end of their next turn. This will be useful in forcing your target to get closer, as otherwise they won't get a good shot, which might just aid you or your allies in beating them up in a coliseum. In the final section, you get Blast Chain and Tembler Pulse Field Generator. Blast Chain Whose good fucking idea is it to literally made a rope out of mines? Okay damage, decent threat, and loading, but actually not quite. On hit with this weapon, you automatically grapple them too, you may maintain this grapple regardless of how far the enemy is as long as they are within this weapon's threat range. You also, obviously, cannot make attack with this weapon while maintaining this grapple. If you control the grapple, you can pull the target next to you as a free action. You may end this grapple as normal, or spend a quick action to detonate the mines. Doing so immediately ends the grapple, deals 2d6 explosive damage to the target, and they must pass a hull save or get shredded until the end of their next turn. Until you detonate the mine, this weapon does not need to be reloaded. First thing, wow this is literally the exact same thing in that anime, second thing, this is a very interesting melee weapon with a focus on grappling, and I think we all know what will perfectly fit with this weapon. The ability to not just have ranged grapple, but also instant auto hit damage on demand makes this weapon very formidable and very useful. And finally, Tembler Pulse Field Generator, Engage Thunder Thunder. Upon activation as a protocol with 2 heat cost, you create a burst 2 area that lasts until the end of your next turn in which everyone besides you within it treats it as difficult terrain and if they starts their turn or moves into for the first time on their turn, they must pass an agility save or fall prone and take 2 kinetic damage. When this system is active, for once per round, you can spend a quick action to deal 20 AP kinetic damage to all objects and terrain within the area, basically annihilating it all. While scrambler rounds make anyone too far from you unable to shoot at you, Tembler pulse field generator makes anyone too close to you unable to engage you effectively while you can beat the crap out of them even more effectively. Being able to destroy buildings by literally stomping the ground is also pretty damn good. In conclusions, Retarius is a controller that really wants to restrain everyone to the ground while being almost immune to the same action. Its license is packed with weapons and tools specialized in immobilizing or forcing people to do something or get wrecked. Entangling the entire enemy team might not look fancy, but it certainly will make it easier to defeat them all. If you like the sound of that, Retarius might be what you are looking for. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.